Last Human Standing is a backyard ultra in the smallest state in the Union, Rhode Island. Held on private property, it's centrally located and adjacent to Big River Management Area, one of the largest networks of trails in the state. Featuring twisty pine trails and a sneaky amount of elevation gain, it's a challenging course which would see a record number of runners this year. All right, here we are with a uh, race director, Liz. Another beautiful year for Last Human Standing. It sure is. <laughs> How many uh, people we out running this year? It looks like we have 27. Nice, nice. And we got some uh, long 100 milers here, I think, today, right? Yeah, so, we have oh. some long haulers here. We have some people who are used to running on the, the hilly technical terrain. What do you think, 24 hours? I think we could do it with, with the group we have. All right. Yeah, 25 pounds lighter than the tour. Not the German guy. One, two, off. What is a backyard ultra? Well, it's a race without a predefined end. Runners have one hour to complete a four mile course. At the top of the next hour, they line up and do it again. This continues until there is only one person left. It's a mental race as much as a physical one, and a type of ultra marathon which has steadily gained popularity over the last few years. Ultimately, you need at least two people willing to push each other as far as they can go. The previous record for last human standing was 15 laps. Would it be bested this year? That's right, guy. Yeah, I liked your last video. Thanks, man. About last. You're the reason I found out about this race. Nice. Yeah. It's a good word, crutch. Hey, the good word is last human standing is off and running. Once finished with the lap, people use whatever time is left to prepare for the next one. About two thirds of the way through the loop, runners reach the scenic overlook. It features a couple chairs, a mailbox filled with snacks, log book, and some dog treats, and a beautiful view of the forested hills below. Watch out for those chairs, they're tempting. Wait, is this for us? Careful, Igor. Once you go in, you may not come out. It was a hot day with temps reaching 80 degrees and very humid on top of that. With almost 500 feet of elevation gain per lap, the climbing accumulates steadily as the day wears on. The course wraps around on itself several times so you can often see other runners in the woods nearby. It definitely helps from a filming perspective. Yay! Three done! Good Welcome back. Thank you. You have about eight and a half minutes. Five minutes! Good job. Very nice place, you guys. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's going so fast. How hard it was to get it. Okay. <laughs> Camera guy. Ego looks lost. Probably spent more money than you should. Well done. Race is going on, but there ain't no one here.
All right, it's a quarter seven. We're on lap 21, 84 miles in. Two guys left, waiting for him to come on through. What can we do for you? Uh, nice work. Uh, I would take that. All right. Nice work. Mm -hmm. Get him. By the morning, only Dan and Jimmy remained. Dan was looking strong, but Jimmy was battling gastrointestinal issues. It would prove to be his undoing in the 22nd lap, and he would not be able to finish in time, making Dan the only one to complete lap 22 and the last human standing. Nice work. Nice. And the home strut. <laughs> Congratulations. Right. Well done. Good job. Woo! Yeah. Last man standing. Good awesome. job, huh? Yeah. See that? I didn't want to go over there just in case there was anything. Yeah, you don't want to think about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good work. I'm like four or five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? You're a fucking quality bad review for the company. Oh, you turn this thing off now? Yeah, yeah. then you gotta ring the bell. Oh, right, right, right. I know, right? There it is. Smiling. Oh, I had fun. I mean, it was fun as shit, and I just realized, like, it was so awesome. I was just like, I'm not gonna make it back. And so another last human standing comes to an end. Congratulations to Dan on the win, and Jimmy for the assist. Thanks to Liz for organizing this race, and all the volunteers who helped make it happen. Will this race break 24 hours next year? We'll see. Do you know where Connecticut is? Is it that way? Do you know? <laughs>